Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a tinting of the brick, brick tinting. So uh, before I get started, please uh, smash that subscribe button, really would appreciate it. So first off, this is what we have built. And this is out of Cheshire brick, as I've stated before, my favourite brick. Uh, but what you will notice is this is a little bit paler. Um, we have had a little a bit of an experiment and if I come down to this bottom bit that's a little bit darker and that is due to brick tinting so we're gonna tint the odd brick just to sort of try and blend it in with the other side over there but before we do any of that the first thing to do is I think there might be a bit of dust and grime or shit on the brick that we will jet wash off this particular bit that it joins into where that drain pipe was that's the original brickwork and as you can see we've tied onto the back of it there and we have actually painted that brick red just to, to, to experiment but as you look up you can see it's quite a difference so then if you look over at this part of the building this isn't as red as at that part so we're going to have a little play see if we can get it looking a little bit better this is an example that's definitely red now so yeah you can see we'll just give it a quick blast we're not going to go too mad not affecting the mortar just deep close up on it straight like that Don't know how much it shows up but we've jet washed one side we're now just about to start the other side i think it has darkened it up they are a little bit damp still so uh they will look a little bit darker because they're wet but what we're going to do is we're going to jet wash this big side down here and then we will let it dry over the weekend and on monday we will start tinting we've got various different colors to uh to work with here so yeah we've got some lighter ones as well so i'm going to use these to lighten up those those red ones over there but yeah we've got various colors well it's a glorious day and this is after the weekend after we jet washed it and you can see that it is a little bit paler so it's dried out so it's dried out a little bit paler so we are now going to start painting the brick and to see if we can uh, if we can stain it down a little bit so watch this space so that is the stuff that we're using it's a burnt orange i've got various different colors but i think that's quite similar to the terracotta sort of color that i'm trying to get for a little tub and a paintbrush so doing this one-handed so i do apologize so I'll get some of that in there. Put the lid back on in case I kick it off. Dry up my little pieces of stuff here. Right, so this is brick tinting at its best. As you can see, it's quite orange over there. So I'm gonna look for that bad boy. Look how pale that looks. Which is basically making the rest of our brick work look very pale. So my intentions are to take out the really pale ones. Now, the secret is not to get it on the mortar line, otherwise we'll end up with a iggledy piggledy sort of look. But as you can see, just taking that whiteness off the brick will hopefully alone just result in a general darker look from this elevation of the property just so it ties in with the other two elevations but look at that really easy and my guess is is I, if I give it another coat it will go even darker but the fact that that's not bright white is a massive difference. Let's 
go for that one as well. I think that one's quite pale. Oh, no, you no. We have got an orange no, one no, here, no, we've got a dark that's, one here. That's a bit darker. That one's very pale. And that one's orange. So let's go for this one. Oh, I'm getting drips. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off the brick, mate. Right? That's putting too much on my brush. I'll just wipe my brush on the side of the pot. So that is dabbing, that's running down the bricks. Let's just take a few of this, a bit of it out while I've got plenty on it. Go up there. There. And then we were working on this one before it started dripping everywhere. Time start at the very top in case it rub, runs down. There we go. Right. Right. I'll touch base with you when we're a little bit further along. But there's another pale ghost one. We'll call them ghost bricks. You can see the really red ones that we've just painted because like that one next to the window, just below the light, that will fade down a little as it dries. So the only bit left now is up this wall here. You can see the red ones sticking out, I suppose it's quite apparent. We've done up that corner there, so now I'm going to try and just pail down some of these ones on the left and by that point, because one bit that we've not looked at is this, which has got a whole different set of uh, colours in it. But this was an extension at one point as well. But it, if we swing from there to there, ours was definitely paler. So we just need to, we just reddened it up a little bit, which I think will make all the difference. So now we've got that side, I'm going to mix a little bit of this colour, which is a colour wash, with red, so it's not totally white, and just, just whiten the, you know, whiten them up, give them a good shake before you use them, so let's, let's come back when we've done that. Well, we've finished the tinting and I'm really pleased with it. Let's have a see and you can be the judge of it as well. You can see it is definitely got a variation of colours in there now. We've got some oranges in. Trying to blend it into the left hand side there. Look at that. That's just made all the difference. So now when I pull up in the van on the front, I am more than happy because it doesn't look very ghostly like it did before. And if we go around this corner, we can see it doesn't stand out as being too different from that elevation either, because that did have a few variations in colours in the bricks in that one. So overall, really pleased with the product. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.